Are you listening? One of the biggest questions for the upcoming PlayStation 5 is where the hell is it? In fact, despite the fact that we know some features like ray tracing, solid state hard drives, backwards compatibility, haptic feedback in the controllers, a release window, and a couple of launch titles, some gamers find themselves upset that the actual look or price of the console has yet to be revealed. In fact, the gamers' impatience towards the PlayStation 5 has reached an all-time high. So much so that some gamers are posting the following message after every tweet from PlayStation. The state of f***ing patience. I'm so f***ing tired of waiting. I've been f***ing waiting forever. Please, Sony, Jim Ryan, end the f***ing suffering and give me what I f***ing want. The thirst of PlayStation 5 news is killing me. I need the f***ing hype. Please, I need to know how my PlayStation 4 f***ing library will run on my f***ing next gen. I want to see the f***ing teraflops. Feed me. F***ing feed us because my weakness is making me f***ing die inside. And while I get that this is an attempt at comedy, it brings light to a much bigger issue. Gamer entitlement. Recently, Gamer entitlement has led to the unnecessary rage or anger towards people in the video game industry. A developer's silence is often met with an onslaught of angry tweets, damning Reddit threads, or the ever-dreaded review bombing on Steam. And it's funny to me, because the one thing that gamers hate the most is a sloppy launch. Yet, here we have PlayStation, who has repeatedly said we are not ready to talk about the next gen, and yet some gamers are just going for the juggler, being like, I don't care, give me those teraflops. Like, ask yourself an honest question. Would you rather PlayStation come out and lay out all the details for the PlayStation 5 on the table, and sell you on why exactly you need this console? Or, would you rather Jim Ryan come out on stage when they're not ready and oversell you on the console's potential and just disappoint you on what you will actually be receiving. And I fully understand a lot of this rage is spurred by PlayStation's competitor Xbox revealing all of the details regarding their next-gen console. So for some PlayStation fans, they're upset that gamers on other platforms have more good news than they do. But gamer entitlement isn't just a PlayStation issue. In fact, this week, Victoria Tran, the communications director at Kit Fox Games, posted about a recent interaction they had with a gamer who was upset with their company's silence. Victoria wrote, An upset gamer at PAX came to tell me about a game's recent launch, and how bad the community management was because of their non-explanations. They calmed down a bit when I told them why I thought this was happening. Here's why com devs sometimes have to be vague or quiet about the subject. Even we don't have answers. Some bugs, delays, whatever take time and resources to explore. Sometimes the dev teams literally have no clue why something's broken, or they have had no time to work on it. We can't make up an answer to make you happy, that's even worse. There's also legal issues. We are all bound by contracts. It could range from anything like platforms or brand deals, but sometimes we literally can't tell you things because of legal stuff. And we are not allowed to say it's because of legal stuff either. Look, sometimes devs will code a game, ship it, learn of a bug, and oh no. Fixing it will require months of work with unjustified or unclear payoffs or it's legit so broken it won't work. Sometimes, if we try to explain why something can't be fixed, we need to reveal private finances, biz stuff, etc. Fixes are rarely standalone problems. They're often wrapped up in a myriad of problems that are too complicated to explain. Bottom line, devs want you to enjoy their game. No dev is trying to make you hate them. And Victoria's point here is very important to consider, because whether it be a developer or a publisher, just because you feel that the information should be readily available doesn't mean it can be. 
There are oftentimes months or even years of prep work that goes into a single announcement. None of this happens overnight. And I, for one, am all for hype. But there is a big difference between being excited for a game or a console and being an entitled dick whose entitlement makes other people's lives worse. Because comments like this, demanding information on a new console, doesn't make you cool. Dunking on a developer demanding information on a new patch doesn't make you funny. It makes you come off as immature and entitled. That you believe that you deserve to know more because you're hyped. Nah, bro. You're just entitled. Because despite all of this rage around PlayStation's radio silence, I think it needs to be pointed out. PlayStation is having one hell of a year. 2020, in many ways, is going to be the year of PlayStation. In 2020 alone, PlayStation is giving gamers dreams. Final Fantasy VII The Remake, Neo 2, Iron Man VR, Predator Hunting Grounds, The Last of Us 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Babylon's Fall, Godfall, and the PlayStation 5. And yet, for some gamers, they can't get past their entitlement to see that while the next generation is going to be awesome, what actually lies before them is one of the greatest years of gaming ever. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and please share it with your friends. Whew. All right, we're done for this week, right? Cool. Time to get back to some Borderlands. See you all next week.